Hello everyone, it's Paul Stevens here from iGo Sales and Marketing. I've built a website for one of my clients with the uh, Photocraty um, photographer theme uh, and uh, this is a quick instructional video on how to use it. So um, the site behind here is uh, M. Pinchot Photography and um, first thing you want to do is log into your back end and that's always the name of your site slash WP login PHP uh, and then you get your username and password I happen to have it memorized so it comes up but uh, enter in your username and password that your developer gave you uh, log in and you get into your WordPress dashboard so there's a couple things here um, I, I want to show you uh, in particular um, I'm going to just open up in another window here the site. So we've got in this particular site um, photos in a few different places. We've got a slider on the home page. Uh, we have a gallery set up where we have individual galleries of photos. And we also have a shop where you can buy photos. So if you are adding new photos to this gallery you want to make sure um, you consider where you're going to add them uh, you can add them to just the shop you can add them to just the gallery you can add them just to the home page or you can add them to all of them um, in this particular case i have the photos added to all three places so i'm going to show you how to do that so uh, first of all um, if you go into your pages on the left hand side here um, you will see all your pages come up. Uh, the home page is um, and pen showed photography right here. And if you go to the page, you'll see um, that there's a, a photocratty gallery set up on this page, and that's the only thing on the page, which corresponds to on the front end the gallery here. Okay, so if you want to add more photos to the gallery, you would edit the gallery. Um, you have some choices here. I've set this up as a slideshow. If you wanted to change that, there are different options here. They're pretty self-explanatory. Um, you can also change the aspect ratio of the photos that are displayed. You can define a specific height for the gallery if you want. Um, but here's really where all your images for that gallery lie. Okay, uh, you can add images uh, from in a couple different ways. If I click on Add Images, what it's going to do is it's going to go to my um, local drive, and I can go and add photos that way. Uh, I can also I have uh, the Next Gen Gallery also installed on this site, so you could import them from Next Gen. Uh, or import them from other photocratic galleries. So, for example, this particular picture, if I added it to the black and white gallery, um, which is where it is, I could add it this way and import it because it's already been uploaded. And that's kind of the better way to do it because if you've already... Um, so I could click on that and add it if I wanted to. That's a better way to do it because uh, you may have already set up all the descriptions and titles and all that kind of stuff and then if you import it from another photo credit gallery you've already uploaded um, then uh, all that stuff comes with it so the options to add to this gallery are uh, from your drive add images um, or uh, import from one that's already been added um, and that is um, a useful feature I'll show you later how to do that um, you can delete images. Um, this is important here, the edit metadata. So if I click on that, you will see that all the images opened up. And I can put a title here and I can put a caption. Um, this is also the meta title and meta description for the pictures for search engine optimization. So, um, you know, you want to populate that. Um, in, in a way that people will find the images. Um, when you're done editing, 
you want to make sure you go down to the bottom and you save the gallery. I'm not going to do that right now because I didn't make any changes. Um, and then second thing, update the page and then the changes will take effect and if you go back to your front end you'll see the new photos are there. So um, the second place where you have photos is in the gallery section and again on the front end that's here you've got them art photos black and white travel and panoramas so if you want them there so let's say we want to add another black and white photo uh, we just go to the black and white page and there's your gallery again same thing we can edit the gallery I would suggest if you're gonna add new photos um, and you want them in more than one place I would I would add them first to your gallery um, so if you've got a black and white photo, add your black and white photo here. And then if you want to add it to the front page or add it to the store, you add it as import from Photocraty. And that just makes it easier because you will get, once you've edited all this stuff here, um, the title and the meta description will go along with it. And it, and it just it saves you having to enter it twice. Okay? So again, uh, I, your word process would be, add it to the gallery first um, by add images so then that way you can just pick a, a picture from uh, you know I don't know I've got a eye stock photo here I'll add that just to show you what happens and you'll see my the photo that I have uh, from my hard drive is now in the gallery so if I click save gallery um, I could then go back in and I could uh, um, add the meta description um, or anything else. The other thing that uh, you want to do here is if this photo is going to be for e-commerce, in other words you're going to sell it, um, you have to tell it what options are available. In your case every photo is available with every option so if you just put select all um, it will you'll see automatically go through and check mark off all the sizes available for each individual photo. Um, and that means they're all available for e-commerce. So if you save that now, this new photo would be added to the gallery. Again, I'm not gonna do that because this is your live site here. Um, so that's uh, adding to the gallery. So now let's say you wanna add uh, a photo to your uh, e-commerce page. So let's go to our pages here. Um, and I'm going to go to the store, which is where your e-commerce gallery is. So you see, it's just another gallery. It's just a different type of gallery. It's an e-commerce gallery. So I'm gonna edit the gallery. Uh, and you'll see in this case, right here, it's checked off as an e-commerce gallery. Uh, that means it's for sale. Um, and again, you can you have choices on the height and the aspect ratio of the photos. Um, all the photos are here. Um, if you previously added one of these photos to, let's say, the gallery, the way you want to add them to your store is import from Photocraty. I know I've said this a couple times, but this that's kind of the workflow that makes it easy. Um, and then you could just pick the image and add it uh, with a check mark. Uh, again, it's easier because it, it will pull in all the metadata and meta description that's, that you already entered, as opposed to having to upload the image and then adding the title and meta description again. So. Um, that's the easiest way to add the photos and again if you're gonna go here um, just do a quick check uh, open up the e-commerce select all and to make sure that all the photos are available in all the sizes that are for sale um, you know you could say okay well this particular photo I'm not gonna sell in a 10 by 15 gallery wrap and you could uncheck it if, if that was the case um, but in your case, you're selling all the photos in all the different sizes, so you just make sure they're all checked off. And if you did save gallery, it would update. Um, again, I'm just going to close it because I'm not going to update it. But once you save the gallery, just uh, a quick reminder again that uh, you have to update the page. Uh, so both cases to save the gallery, update the page, and then it'll take effect. Okay, so that covers adding photos to your gallery. Um, the next thing I wanted to cover was uh, managing the sizes and prices. Okay, so uh, up at the top left hand corner here, you'll see uh, theme options. And if you go to e commerce settings, 
um, you'll see a bunch of options here. So here's where, I'm just scrolling down, I've entered in all the sizes and the prices for your items and you have up to you know 50 options and prices to add if you want to add more and I, I you can add more and more if you want but um, it gets a bit ridiculous <laughs> when the client sees the list of different options it's just too long so I would say kind of you probably narrow it around to down to around the 20 that you have I wouldn't want to go any more than that um, so uh, prices if I want to edit this price very simple $69 I can change it to $75 and I just save it and it's that's easy to do okay in this case I'm gonna change it back to 69 oops and um, it's as simple as that so these are the descriptions that show up uh, with that particular product and these are the prices if you want to edit any of those it's, it's very very simple to do just edit it and then go down to the bottom and um, should be down here somewhere. Save e-commerce se settings, and it will update it. Um, the next thing you probably want to do is uh, shipping. Okay, so right now uh, we set it up with a twenty-dollar flat rate uh, shipping uh, all across Canada. Um, so standard price is twenty dollars. If you want to change that in the future to twenty-five or or whatever you want to do. Um, you can, that's where you change the shipping. Uh, maybe you want to set up an expedited price where like next day delivery is fifty dollars. Um, you can do that. You can also set up maybe over three hundred dollars shipping is free um, as a promotion uh, and that's where you would do that. So free shipping on orders over you put three hundred. Um, international shipping uh, I turned it on we put an international price of fifty dollars there. Um, you can turn off international shipping um, you, you also have a per item uh, which might make more sense <laughs> in case they ordered uh, three or four items going to I don't know, China or somewhere I mean it could get expensive so um, you might want to change that to per item uh, your country Canada so that determines which people get the standard price um, the checkout message here um, is in this box and you can edit and change that so basically I just wanted to highlight to the client that uh, once they place an order they go to PayPal to pay and that they can pay by credit card through PayPal um, PayPal based profile shipping on and off uh, this uses uh, PayPal to calculate shipping but we don't want that because we've already done it inside of your um, e-commerce site here so I'm just gonna save an update um, and that would be how you edit any of the e-commerce settings or the shipping um, what else can you do on your site um, the other thing that you would probably be going in and doing is adding blog posts uh, you do that here uh, blog post and then you can add new um, I'm not going to go into in this video how to add a blog post I do have another video on my site about how to add a blog post um, please read it it would in conjunction with your uh, photo site uh, adding blogs about photography and some of the photos that you took and maybe how you did the setup and and those kind of things um, might be of interest to your readers uh, and you could do those kind of blogs so um, any further questions uh, you can email me uh, Paul Stevens and um, from IGO sales and marketing and the web address is www.igosalesandmarketing.com thank you bye bye